upcoming. Uh, like this to the line shit for my logo. Put in the, 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 the other thing, my, my logo, my second thing. What's happening guys, my name is LTHH Fisher and I am glad that you are watching to a brand new video on Alex's channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make an easy 3D effect on your, like, your logo or like on your name. Actually on anything that has like, that is 2D, if you have a 2D picture or something, you can almost do it with everything you have. It's time to start I guess, yeah. So once you're in Illustrator, I want you to open your file, I have this one. Um, it is a logo of my name. Like you can see, it is a 2D picture. Um, I'm gonna make it 3D. But first, what you wanna do is uh, you go to this little button here and it says image trace. You're gonna click on that. Then it will, like, if you expand it, you can see all the points. Now I can take out the middle part, so it, like the background. I'm gonna delete that. I don't need that anymore. Um, I'm gonna go out of this mode. And now I have like like this 2D line shit for my logo. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new document. Um, doesn't matter what size it is, but just, yeah. Um, I'm gonna make it like gray, grayish background. I, I don't know, I like the gray background. It fits really good with the thing that I'm going to do. So, but it can, it, it, it works with every color. So yeah, I'm gonna just going to make like a background, a gray background gonna make a new layer I'm gonna lock this one and now I'm gonna take my logo and I'm gonna drag it on this file like this and as you can see I still have a little bit wide in my Eiffel Tower here on my Tower of Pisa I'm gonna delete them real quick quickly So I've deleted all the white parts in my logo, um, so I have now like, yeah, PNG, like transparent background on my logo. I'm going to um, copy it, so Control c Control v on a Mac is it, it is uh, Command-C. I'm gonna make my logo another color, I'm gonna make it white. Um, and if you are asking why, no wait, this, this needs to be like a little more grayish. Wait, the, yeah, you will see it in a sec. I'm gonna make this like gray. I'm gonna copy the gray that is on my background. So I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to do it with my, um, how does it go? Eyedropper tool. Select that. I'm gonna make it a little, little darker. Like something like this. Once I've done that, put in the, 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 the other thing, my, my logo, my second uh, that I copied. And that is in black. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make this white like this and i'm gonna drag it on top of my other logo but i make i'm gonna make sure that it's like a little bit but i don't like the the the, the black ring black bar around my first logo i'm gonna try and delete that real quickly normally i don't have these black bars right i know i know get rid of all the black bars like this that's what i wanted so now i'm going to place my old logo like a little bit on top but that the gray is coming out and if you have this in like a small scale um, you have like a feeling that it's pushed in your paper but I don't know with this one it doesn't really work because I have too much like details in it in my letters trust me for some things it will work for school I'm making a card and it has to be like snow and I have it like this my logo is pushed in the snow so yeah it's the same technique that I use it is not really working with this but I, I don't mind I like it actually and I think I'm gonna save it and use it as it like well you can see it here like you have the feeling that it's pushed in a little bit so so yeah that's 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 the thing so that was an illustrated tutorial for this week guys I hope you enjoyed I hope it was interesting and helpful for you guys. Make sure to leave a like down below, comment down below on this video. If you have any questions, I will feel, I'm feel free to answer all your questions if you have some. Don't forget to subscribe on Alice's channel, my channel, and I will see you next time, I guess. Peace.
I can't even explain. I'm so freaking happy. This is like so. I'm here with Bjorn today. I'm gonna go to the uh, like this Belgian Dutch YouTube. This is the second update, and I did blind respectfully like, dude, reacting small videos. Awesome that you guys wanted to do this new video, and this is not gonna be a part tutorial as usual. It's Tuesday. It's amazing new video for you guys. Alex, what do we need to do to join or participate in giveaway? How are you gonna pick the winner? 